Hello property lovers and welcome to Property Focus, your window into the world of architecture, building construction and real estate. It's a fresh coat and a new start with this episode. How do you bring color into your life is what we're on about to this particular show. Add a facelift to your home and today we're going hard in the paint with the pros and learn about how to give your house a facelift and color your dreams. However, at the tail end of the show, we have something for the wall art lovers, wallpaper, and some of the latest trends when it comes to wallpaper here in Kenya. Now, get cozy, get comfortable. I know I feel really good about this particular episode, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Peter Ngigi. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, on to our first guest to tell us how paint is made, what it consists of, how to ensure you get quality paint. Let's hear from our first guest in a moment. So welcome to Property Focus. Thank you for having me. I'm Zahir Charania. Yes. I'm, a, I'm the founder of Rangi Africa Limited. Mm -hmm. I'm based in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. I started my company when I was 28 years old. 28, so young. Yes. yes. And ever since then, I've been running my own manufacturing plant in Mombasa. How is paint made? Basically, paint is mixing. Mm -hmm. It's mixing chemicals together mm -hmm. to get the right finishing of paint, mm -hmm. right? So the main, main process is dispersing. Mm -hmm. So you need to disperse your chemicals the right way, mm -hmm. have your additives, have your binders, mm -hmm. and have every aspect covered when, when it comes to paint. Mm -hmm. What are the different types of paints in the markets? So in paints, we categorize paints in two ways. Mm -hmm in two things, right? Mm -hmm. So there's solvent-based paint and water-based paint, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In those categories, there are different types of paints which are called, which are given different names, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll give an example on decorative paints, mm -hmm. right? Decorative paints are mostly water-based paints mm -hmm. which are used for, for houses, buildings, interiors, stuff like that. Okay. So what happens is, in, in, in water-based paints, you have weather guard, which is an exterior paint. Mm -hmm. You have silk vinyl emulsion, which is an interior paint. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what your surface is, that's when you'll know what kind of paint you'll need to use. Mm -hmm. How does one tell the difference between good quality paint and paint that's just bad? So you'd be able to tell the quality of paint as soon as you open the tin. So once you purchase your tin, once you open it, you'll be able to tell. So if you see lumps, particles, separation, you'll know that paint is not good. Has a bad odor, it's not good. Good paint should be smooth, should have no particles, should be like a nice paste. That's a good paint. That's when you'll know that that's a good paint. When you're applying your brush strokes, you'll have no marks on the wall, stuff like that. So that's the way you tell whether paint is good or not. If it gives you good coverage, covers your wall, Opacity makes a difference. These are the things which, which people look in mm -hmm. to when they're buying paint. So by just taking the brush, putting in the paint, painting on the wall, if you see brush strokes, that's not good paint. That is not a good paint. What is a good application process for paint? Well, I would, I would always say application process, the first thing to do is preparation. Yes. Right? So once you've identified your surface, yes. you prepare the surface yes. by sanding, yes. right? By masking tapes, mm -hmm. using use of mask tapes, cover your borders. You, you don't want your tiles getting dirty, so you want to cover your tiles. You're going to have paint splashes all over, right? Applying paint is not a very clean thing. Of course, you want a clean finish in the end, yeah. right? But while doing it, you can have spillages, you can have droplings, you can have a lot of things. So first, I would always suggest preparation. Mm -hmm. Prepare your walls ready for paint. By doing that, firstly, I would always suggest an undercoat. Mm -hmm. So once you identified mm -hmm. your wall, mm -hmm. put your undercoat. Okay. Once your undercoat is done, if you want a good smooth finish on your walls, yeah. apply skimming filler. Skimming filler, what is a skimming filler? Skimming filler is something which fills all the pores on your walls, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To get a very nice silk finish, mm -hmm. like a silky mm -hmm. smooth finish on your walls. Mm -hmm. Now you want to protect that mm -hmm. by applying a second coat of undercoat. Mm -hmm. right? Once you've had your undercoat, second coat, now it depends on what type of finish you want on your wall, yes. that's when you'll apply your final coat. Okay. So example, if you want a silk finish, yes. 
then you will apply a silk, vinyl silk emulsion. Okay. And if you want a matte finish, you can apply a vinyl matte. Mm -hmm. Depends, again, like I said, mm -hmm. totally depends on what you want to achieve in the end. Mm -hmm. So if you want even an eggshell, whatever you want, mm -hmm. the final coat is for you to decide. What are some of the new trends in the markets today? So at the moment, there are lots of new trends which are coming in, especially, let's talk about a capital city. A capital city, everyone likes to use cement-based paint, right, which gives you a long-lasting finish in, on your walls for almost 10, 15 years. There's silicon-based paint, right, which gives you 15 years on your walls. There's different interiors, architectural finishes. So at the moment, all these are trending at the moment and they're doing pretty well. Are there different paints for different regions? Let's say like Nairobi, you're from Mombasa, Mombasa. We have a lot of salt in the air. Like, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but um, Mombasa, because of the sea, you need a good paint, right? Because of the, the air, stuff like that. In Nairobi, you still need a good quality paint, but I would always say Mombasa, you'd need something which would be more durable, okay. yeah, so due to the atmosphere. Uh, yeah. So there's a very good quality Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Approximately, how much does it cost for paint? That's, very, that's a very good question. How do you approximate the paint? Mm -hmm. The amount of paint you need for your wall. Yes. So I would always mm -hmm. advise my customers yes, yes. that if you were to approximate the amount of paint you need, you need to calculate the length, yes. uh, multiply by your width of the wall. Okay. Once you have that, Right, on every paint tin, mm -hmm. depending on what you want to use, mm -hmm. would have an approximate of liter per square meter. Mm -hmm. So it would tell you mm -hmm. how many liters mm -hmm. would give, how many square meters a liter would give you. Yes. Example, if you have a 100 square meter wall, yes. and, and one liter is giving you 10 square meters, mm -hmm. so your approximate is around 10, 10, 10 liters, liters okay. per quart. Okay. So if you want to have three quarts, then you need 30 liters of paint. Yeah. Now, one last question. Between a paintbrush and a roller, which one's better? I would always suggest a roller, yes. but then again, depends on your application. Okay. Yeah. For your corners, you can't use a roller, mm -hmm. so you need a paintbrush. Mm -hmm. But for the main parts, I would always suggest a roller. Painting your walls is always good. It's always good to have a fresh yeah. look. Well, thank you very much for coming onto the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me once again. You only had it on property focus. Now, what did the roller tell the paintbrush? Let's roll over. In that spirit, let's go on to the next section and hear from a texturized paint interior designer. Stay tuned. Now, welcome back to Property Focus and thank you for keeping it NTV. Now, we've got an interior designer with over 10 years experience in the interior design space and he's here with us. Welcome to Property Focus, Roston. Thank you, Mr. Peter. Brilliant. Tell us about yourself. Okay, my name's Roston Maliazo. I am the CEO and the founder of Prime House Interiors. Yes, we do interior design and the uh, also the exterior design. So this journey began out of a curiosity just for gypsum roofing? Yes, this was out of the curiosity of um, the gypsum, or what we call the suspended ceiling. Yes. Yeah, if you walked into buildings, you find that there is a ceiling that is hanging over your head. Mm -hmm. And that is what actually uh, made me mm -hmm. to start this journey because of that curiosity. What are the different types of uh, texturized paints in the market? We have many, as in, you see, nowadays I will say uh, there are so many types of uh, these different, as in these uh, textured paints. Mm -hmm. And um, every time we are being treated to new products, mm -hmm. and we love, uh, as in, seeing new products because they are actually, you know, they are coming in to actually spice up the spaces that we live in. This is elephant skin. This, we call it elephant skin. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is uh, a technique that uh, there is a 
product that you use to we create that kind of effect mm -hmm. and then now we apply yes. paint on it yes. just to make an effect out of it now what should every homeowner know whenever they're designing their spaces i will say first of all they need to know as then maybe their personality because this thing as i said is uh, emotion emotional paint and these kind of uh, maybe emotions are different. So someone needs to know whether, what do they like when, as in like, when they are in a space. Because on this, what we call texturized paint, we have the rough ones, and then we have the other ones are smooth. So once you know what uh, kind of a person you are, whether you love the smooth texture or you love the rough texture, then you can be able now to know what are you going to use for your space. So, and again, here there are several things. You know, you need to maybe factor in the budget and maybe factor in the, the, how your space is looking because those are the things that will determine how are you going to, as in, decorate that space using this. Yeah. So what factors should one consider? Okay, these things, um, we are looking at uh, the, 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 the type of paint, uh, that is the textured paint, yes. and then we are looking at uh, your space, yes. yeah, how big or how small it is, and then again I will say uh, the other thing is uh, that that I said, your personality, what you love to see yes. when you are in that space. Yes. Yes. What are some of the trends that have come up in the market today? I will say we have quite a good number of products in the market. These are uh, namely like 3D. We have wallpapers. We have the liquid wallpaper, which we, we call it uh, cotton paint. Yeah. And then we have mazeras. Yes. Yeah, you can use them to make your walls look uh, very entertaining. entertaining. Yes, these are, we call them entertaining walls. So we have quite a good number of products, yes. yes. Now, what does a square meter look like? Okay, on a, I will say using a tape measure, there is a, what we call centimeters. So you can actually read 100 centimeters on your tape measure as in 100 by 100 centimeters. That is equivalent to one square meter. So 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters, that's what 2,000 would get you? Not for all paints. I said averagely because there are paints which could be even lower than that or slightly above okay. than that, yes. So give us your parting shot for any homeowner who wants to renovate or something of the sort. Uh, I will say, you know, because of technology, uh, nowadays, mm -hmm. yeah, people need to actually make their space, as in to spice up. Let me talk about spicing their spaces. Yeah, what you, one will go to look for maybe in Kempinski or let's say like a Nash pie in Naivasha. These are things that we are bringing now to your home, as in to that space that you are occupying. So it is good when one is considering to put up a house, you know, these things, they are not really expensive, they are doable. You can bring them into your house so that now you can use them so that you can make your space look more beautiful. Yes. Thank you very much for coming onto the show. Thank you, Mr. Peter. Glad to have had you. And there you have it from an interior designer. Up next, we've got our billboards and our materials profile there on after. Stay tuned. Did you know that with a home biogas system, you can produce up to six hours of cooking gas per day from animal waste and kitchen waste? Our biogas system is built to help you save money and live a smoke-free and healthier life. To learn more, call us at 0 212 242 or visit our website at www.klot.co.ke.
Then welcome back. We said we're going to find you somebody who can wrap it up with wallpaper. And as we wrap up the show, we've got a connoisseur of wallpaper, Mr. Kamau. Welcome to Property Focus. Thank you. Good, brilliant. Abarigani. Mzuri sana. Good, good. To make a ribishwa. Yeah, you are welcome to Wallpaper yes. Kenya. Yes. Yeah, here you will find everything you want from mm -hmm. ordinary wallpaper to yes. custom made wallpaper. Oh, wonderful. Tell us about yourself. I started this business uh, from theater. I used to work in theater as a stage manager. Okay. But in uh, theater, you work with uh, set decorators. Mm -hmm. uh, that is where I learned. Our set decorator, who is an interior designer, yes. uh, we used wallpaper. And I was, it, was, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I, I grew up with it. I found myself doing the business. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us about wallpaper itself. What is it made of? What does it consist of? Uh, wallpaper is made from different materials. Mm -hmm. There's the regular wallpaper, mm -hmm. which is made of paper, ordinary paper, mm -hmm. backing. Uh, but the decorative side, the most common wallpaper used is vinyl. Uh, then we have others like custom wallpaper, mm -hmm. which are made of cloth. Mm -hmm. uh, we customize wallpaper on uh, silk cloth. Mm -hmm. And um, there are also others like uh, other fabrics, but the wallpaper that is mostly common in Kenya and regular, mm -hmm. and in the world, is vinyl wallpaper. Well, tell us about the application process. How do you apply this wallpaper? What should you ensure your wall is like before you put it? Tell us about that. Wallpaper is just a better alternative to paint. Mm. So you prepare your wall like uh, you are going to paint uh, up to undercoat. Then instead of painting, now you put wallpaper. Okay. So how much does wallpaper ordinarily cost? Uh, well, that's a good question, but uh, wallpaper companies sell design. Just like you can have uh, art, uh, on the same material from different artists, mm -hmm. and one costs, uh, they are on the same material, but one costs 100,000 and another one costs 100 shillings. Mm -hmm. So wallpaper companies sell design. Mm -hmm. For instance, you can have wallpaper, uh, say Manchester wallpaper, mm -hmm. which is uh, 100 times more than brick wallpaper, mm -hmm. because you you're paying also loyalties to, 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 to Manchester. Mm. But uh, uh, ordinary wallpaper, ordinary wallpaper, roughly 3,000 shillings mm. per roll. Mm -hmm. Wallpaper comes in a uni universal standard size, mm -hmm. uh, which is a half a meter by 10 meters. On average, 3,000 all inclusive. All inclusive, VAT, labor. Supply and installation. Supply and installation. Yes. Interesting. Mr. Kamau, why does wallpaper usually fall off the wall? What, 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 what's that about? If you find wallpaper falling off the wall, that is not common. And if it does that, then it has been fixed by an amateur and used the wrong glue. What's the application process for wallpaper? Wallpaper is very simple to apply because you use a wallpaper glue that has been researched over the years and is perfect. Mm -hmm. You only have to glue the wallpaper. Mm -hmm. in, mo in most cases, you even just have to glue, uh, paste, uh, like you're painting the wall with, with the glue and then apply the wallpaper. Smoothen it and that's it. What are some of the latest trends when it comes to wallpaper? Uh, the latest trends in wallpaper now is uh, uh, nature wallpaper. Like what we have behind you. Yeah, like what you have behind me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that now is uh, customized. Because unlike uh, regular wallpaper, like brick wallpaper, mm -hmm. which has uh, patterns. If you look at that, you will see it has uh, repeat patterns. Mm -hmm. Nature has no repeat patterns. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no tree that looks like another mm -hmm. in the forest. Mm -hmm. So that one, uh, you can't have it in a standard size like wallpaper. Mm -hmm. So that one is customized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you give us a picture uh, of, of the kind of thing you want, yeah. 
or you ask us to select for you, we have a big library, millions and millions of online pictures, eh? then we make it exactly the same size as your wall. Are you saying I can bring a picture to you and you'll replicate it detail, inch for inch? Oh yes, oh yes. yes. You can, if you give us a portrait of your family, yes. we will do a wallpaper. A wallpaper. Full, full wall. Fully uh, detailed. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. very interesting. Also companies, uh, we do wall branding. Mm -hmm. Companies give us their logo, their artwork, and, 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 and we customize that for a wall. As we conclude, any advice you'd like to give any homeowner who wants to probably renovate their spaces with wallpaper? Besides uh, unparalleled uh, beauty, uh, interior decoration that you, 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 you get from wallpaper as compared to other things like paint, uh, wallpaper is also cheaper in the lo long run than paint mm -hmm. because wallpaper will last on the wall for decades. Mm -hmm. uh, and custom wallpaper, uh, which we do it on silk, will even last a lifetime mm -hmm. or more. Mm -hmm. And uh, with custom wallpaper, when uh, you move house, you can move with it. Mm -hmm. It's not like paint. Mm -hmm. And uh, or maybe if, if, for example, you have designs for children's uh, nursery, and uh, they are to grow, you can give that uh, wallpaper as a present mm -hmm. to, to somebody. Mm -hmm. Wallpaper is more economical, mm -hmm. besides being more beautiful mm -hmm. than paint. Well, Mr. Kamau, thank you very much. Asante. Great, mm -hmm. great. And to the Arsenal fans, um, I'm sure you heard that, that if you want quality wallpaper, get Manchester wallpaper. How do you like that? Well, thank you for tuning in onto the show. It's been an absolute delight having you. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. From the elephant skin tones to wallpaper to cotton paint, liquid paint, it's been super informative. And if you want any topics on the show, reach out to us on our socials on Property Focus on Facebook and Property underscore Focus underscore on Instagram and we'll be more than happy to have these guests. I've been your host, Peter Ngigi. <laughs>